Hello, as you can see, Builderall 6.0 is coming. We can see here, uh, it's been there for two months. We will have a new interface, new tools uh, interface. It will be uh, nice. So my question is, uh, has Builderall changed really? And uh, for sure, there is a new ownership since uh, December 2022. But there are some things that don't change. It's a massive uh, a company very slow moving. I will uh, make uh, an update. As you can see here, here uh, you have a, a survey. We would like to hear your opinion. The link to this survey, so we will open it, is wrong because it goes to the Google Form survey. But as you can see, it is in edition mode, which means that you can. It's uh, like if you are doing the survey yourself, you are creating the survey. So here you have total access to the survey and people who have clicked on the link, some have put here an answer, so, so, some kind of testimony. But this is where you should put the question, you create the survey. So now this question is not like it was previously, it's just the answer of one person. And here you have, um, I mean, you know, you know, this is very bad. You are editing. So you can see the answers that people have put already you can see a lot so this is like the question but in fact it is an answer of one user but it was a question what do you think about build all and here you can see the actual answers i think those answers come from um, uh, when the link was correct when people could answer the survey but then maybe the survey has been uh, put aside has been hidden and then it has been in introduced again on the dashboard but with the wrong link so that's why you have 84 answers. Because at the moment, you know, people cannot answer the survey. Here it's the editing link. And what I want to, to show you is that uh, I've uh, reported this problem. When I first uh, saw it, it was uh, three weeks ago. I just noticed that in my dashboard, because this is the home page. That when you log in in uh, Builderall, this is your home page, your dashboard. It will change because this is very messy, as you can see. And on the right, you have some links. And here I've noticed, uh, oh, they have a survey to ask my opinion. I clicked and I noticed that it was the, the bad link, the wrong link. So uh, when uh, it was on Friday, you have every Friday, you have a, a help live webinar. So in this live webinar, in the comment, I say to Mike, which is this uh, man here, I said, Mike, Mike, can you tell Shelly? Because Shelly is now is the head of product. Is, is, She's a very important person in Builderall, but uh, from years ago, she's being a user, a power user of Builderall, and now she's an employee of the company and she's head of product. So, so she's, a, you know, like a, like a boss for many people working at Builderall. So I say to Mike, uh, can you tell Shelly that the link from the dashboard to the customer survey is sending people to the edit version so we can read the answers? This was my, because of course we can read the answer, but we cannot answer. Uh, so it's a, it's a bad link. So, I mean, she, she read the message and one week later, she tell me, uh, I have already messaged them about it. Them being uh, the marketing team, the, the one who can change the link in the dashboard. But uh, I will follow up because maybe they are not understanding. So it was, now it's two weeks ago. I say, yes, it has been a week already. Uh, they aren't surprised to receive no new answers because some people have put this survey and then, I don't know for how long before I noticed it. Maybe it's here for a month or more. And they are not uh, surprised or wondering why they are not getting any answer. Why their survey now has a wrong question? No? Nobody cares? I mean, the one who, who has the authority to, to change this link. So one week after, so now it was one week ago, uh, I, still, I, I say it still hasn't changed a bit. But if fixing a RSS feed can take 10 months, I guess, changing a link, can take weeks too, because uh, with the previous ownership, uh, I, uh, there was a, a bug in the RSS feed of their blog, and I've been uh, telling them how to fix this simple, simple problem with the RSS feed, so I could use it to promote Builderall using their blog, because they were posting articles every week on their blog. So I said, oh, this is a good source of content, and I can change the link to make it an affiliate link for myself and promote the new articles of this blog on my social social medias and other things automatically but i need a rss feed and a valid rss feed one which is uh, correct so 
uh, it was not correct huh, for for many for years. I think it was not correct, uh, but nobody cares because nobody uses the RSS feed. But then I, I, I told them what to fix, and I even say, okay, if you don't have the resources, uh, don't have time, I can do it for you. I can give me the code that you use, and I will modify it a little bit just to fix the RSS feed. And they told me, no, customers cannot uh, work uh, like this. I, I said for free, I do it. They say, no, 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 we will do it. Don't worry. And they were never doing it, taking long, a long time, fixing it, but it was still broken because they was, were fi fixing it badly. And uh, then uh, wait another month and another change, but still not fixing it. You know? And never ask, ask me, asking me for advice or for help. No. And it, it lasted like this. And I involved Shelly with it. That's why I'm mentioning this, because she was the uh, number two in the company at the time. And even she could not force a developer to sit and don't leave his, uh, his chair until he's done the, the simple things that takes five minutes to do. And even contact me, she cannot force anyone, she could not force anyone to do it. So it took 10 months to finally being a correct RSS feed, which it should have been from the start, huh, without even me reporting anything. So it took 10 months, but, but it was too late because one month earlier, they stopped updating their blog. So there was no new content. So I could not use it to promote a builder role. So yes, it was fixed, I guess. Because I'm not sure. I think yes, I, I have not uh, checked it uh, again to see if uh, it's broken uh, uh, again uh, now, but uh, it was useless for me. So it took 10 months with uh, like a boss <laughs> to change these simple things. So a link, a broken link now is taking three weeks at least. Uh, maybe it will be more because it's not fixed now. I don't assume it will be fixed in one week. So you see. Build the role, uh, even if it's a new ownership, they have, okay, but they still don't have time. They still don't have uh, uh, authority to have someone fix it and fix it before the end of the day or I fire you. Isn't it simple to say to someone, you change it or you die. You, I mean, or you leave because if you don't execute my order, you leave. No, they cannot say that. It's, it's incredible. I cannot believe it. And even Shelly, which is head of product, she has no authority to go into the dashboard and change this stupid link. I mean, those are some advertisements. It's easy to change the link. Find the person who changed the link and say to him or to her, change the links or don't come back tomorrow because you will have no job. It's simple. This is so stupid to have a, a survey that cannot be answered. And you go to it and you see that it's uh, broken. And even in, in a comment, I see, I've see i seen uh, someone uh, uh, talk about it. Ah, yes, this one. The one who modified the question, he says, this survey is not even working properly. How can I have confidence when this is the level of work put forward? This is exactly my uh, my own feeling. I mean, if you send people to survey and you are a digital marketing company, I mean, you're not uh, uh, cooking, uh, making cookies, digital, and you send uh, your customers on the dashboard, on the home page, you send to something broken and not fixed for, and you pretend to be the number one uh, digital platform. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a, there's a disconnect. You can say you are number one, but then, then at least pretend correctly, don't have something like this. And when someone for free report to you this problem, make it your priority number one for the day to have it changed. Of course, it should never have been like this. So if someone inform you, don't do nothing for three weeks. I mean, this is totally crazy. I cannot even speak about, about it. Um, I don't know what to say. I feel so sorry for, for uh, everybody working at Builder. I mean, there are, Nobody is responsible. I mean, there, there must be one person more responsible, at least the one who put the link. But the, the rest are uh, a complice, complicit because they are accessory to the crime. They don't do anything. They don't, they don't care. It seems they don't care. I mean, Shelly is telling me, yes, uh, I tried. Yes, she tried, but uh, not hard enough. I mean, come on. She, she should talk about it every day until it's fixed. It's crazy. You, you have a link uh, here asking for customers what they think of Builder All, and you, you bring them to a broken things. <laughs> What is this? Even if they, they think something good about Builder uh, you send them to a broken uh, survey, badly done, because they have their own quiz uh, tool. They are not using it. They are sending to a Google form, something like this. And they people fall, they arrive like this or like this. User HDDD survey. Huh? So, so I guess uh, nobody cares. So, okay, enter. And now uh, people who come here, they, they, they will see this. I, I am in edit mode. It's open to everyone with a Google uh, account. What can you say? What excuse can you find? So if you find anything uh, good, 
or in explanation, like, oh, we are too busy, or please write it in the comment. I'm open to it. But Builderall 6.0 is coming on the 15th of uh, September. I think it will be better, of course. Huh? Of course, uh, the dashboard will look nice. So it's a, it's a good thing, I think. And the, all the tools, some of, uh, most of the tools, not all, but they will have a unified interface. I mean, you know, we are in this video, we can see, discover what are the changes. This link is not broken. So it's in interblock. So I guess they updated it. So I will check also the RSS feed to see if it's uh, correct. What? Uh, let's try. Um, okay, of course. Say 50. This is to have uh, 50% on your first month. So let's check the RSS feed. It, it looks okay. Okay, item. Uh, date seems nice. 29th August, 28th August, 28th August. Okay, so it's still broken. Because as you. This is crazy. Come on. So I don't I don't care about it, but look at the dates of the, the articles. They are all 24 August, 24 August, 23 August, 23 August. Those are not new articles for sure. They are the old one, but the date, the date is not correct. It's not the date of the creation of the article. So if you use this as a source of content, your tool, automation tool will go crazy and will uh, always uh, try to post uh, the same article. This is crazy because I think every day the dates change. Uh, for each article, so it, it creates a mess for the tools that you use. Okay, so, well, I mean, the RSS feed is, oh, who cares? Anyway, so what is new on this uh, uh, faster building, of course, uh, see, I mean, uh, we will have to wait two weeks now to, to see the launch and the new tools. Uh, I th think it cannot go uh, worse, so it will be better for sure. But then um, the affiliate part of Builderall is not a, one of the priority because this won't change. So it's not among the, the tools which will have a unified interface. So the affiliate part, which I like, but uh, it's not getting the, the lifting that uh, other tools are getting as a priority. I can understand this, of course, uh, because what matters most is uh, the customers, the one who use the product, the build role. And um, so they need, they have priority. The affiliates, it's okay, it's okay. Of course, you know, affiliates should be a priority, but maybe it's not. It's not, it hasn't been before, it's not now, so it's not really a priority. The customers are more important, of course, I understand. So, you see, we will see, I will do another video for the launch of Builderall 6.0. Um, you know, I'm sure it's good. Coming Q3, yes, Q3 at the end of Q3, it's September, the end. So it's like Q4, nearly Q4. Uh, okay, if you want to go check out Builderall for yourself, don't hesitate to see the link in the description of this video. It's a good tool. I mean, uh, don't listen to me for everything. It's a very good because there are so many tools. Yes, and they are all working. So it's not a problem with this. What I'm talking about in this video and others, it's just uh, I'm picking at things. But uh, overall, it's a, it's a very good solution to, to have uh, for digital marketing. You know, this I, I never question it, of course. But, uh, you know, the other things like uh, I have many things to say about everything, of course, because I'm trained, I'm French. So uh, I'm used to rant um, stupidly about anything. And who cares if this link is broken? Who cares? Nobody, you know, it's a waste of time to care about it. So you can don't don't take my word uh, for anything important, of course. Build all still good, but it could be better. And this uh, in uh, this 6.0 means improvements are finally being uh, updated on, on the site. So uh, I, will, I won't have this dashboard. So this link will disappear in two weeks. Maybe that's why they don't change it. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why really I, I try to find a reason. Maybe in two weeks this will change. So they say, oh, let's not waste one minute to change the link because anyway, it will be gone anyway. So let's keep it until uh, we change everything. Maybe that's the reasoning. I don't know. I'm not a Fortune 500 company. I don't know how they think really. One minute maybe for them, um, it's worth so much. It's better spent on the, on the future than what is now. They don't care. I mean, that's the, what they um, transmit the message. We don't care. Why are you talking to us about this thing? Who cares about this thing? Focus on your business. We focus on our business and everything will be fine. Now, when we ask you, uh, what do you think of the you have to say it's very good and everything's perfect. And we do what we want. Maybe that's uh, the philosophy of uh, all this. Be positive and don't care about what is wrong. It doesn't matter. You don't care. Move on. Yes. Bye bye.